Today, we're going to talk about quite possibly the very first hip hop toys ever created. And we're talking about MC Hammer. Standing 12 inches tall, these MC Hammer dolls were released in 1991. They came in two outfits. The first one, which is actually crumbling as we speak, it keeps falling and every time I touch it, I got little bits of shimmer everywhere. He's rocking his signature baggy parachute hammer pants in a gold glittery pattern, a crop top blazer, some glasses, and his dancing shoes. And he came with a silver boom box that plays when you press the button. It just plays that beat, so no need for me to repeat that rhyme. This is Signature Hammer, you know what I'm saying? He was a superstar, he didn't do things like other rappers did. And I think because of that, he got ostracized at the time. And we cannot forget his fresh fade and rat tail. The other Hammer doll came in a purple outfit with the hammer pants, blazer, and a very feminine shimmery crop top. This also came with glasses. And unlike the other one, it didn't come with a boombox. It came with a cassette tape single that had two original songs and a personal message to the fans. Can't forget the frames, the hammer shoes, and the dope cut with the rat tail. And the songs on here are Dancing Machine and You Can't Touch This. Now I wonder if the sale of this toy help go towards the sound scan and record sales. Could this be the very first time a bundle deal was introduced to sound scan? If you know, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Not only did Mattel produce these two figures, they also made three separate outfits that were sold separately. Not sure about the retail price on the actual outfits, but I know at least one of these retailed for $18.99 because one of the stickers on the box said so. And I've seen stickers that say $20 as well. So we can say that they were 19 to 20 bucks. Big, big gap over there. Funny thing is, you can still find these figures in mint condition today all over the place from around 20 to 150 bucks. They were so mass produced, and rightfully so, because Hammer was like one of the biggest acts on the planet at the time, and his single, Can't Touch This, was tremendous. It was viral before viral. With that being said, I couldn't have a show about hip hop toys or hip hop collectibles without having these. And I think if you're a collector of hip hop, they're essential to your collection because what's a hip hop toy collection without the first ones produced? So before I end this video, I wanna ask y'all a question. Were these the first hip hop figures produced or was the Mr. T action figure the first hip hop figure produced? Because in 1984, Mr. T did release a rap album. Even though I don't consider him a rapper, he did make a rap album where he was rapping, therefore making him a rapper, technically, right? I consider him an actor and entertainer. So let me know if y'all agree. Was Mr. T's action figure the first hip hop toy ever released? I'm not sure, I wanna find out. Thanks for watching, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. If I missed anything, if you have anything to add to the conversation or simply wanna be like, yo, these things are dope, leave it in the comments, I'd love to hear from you, peace. Thank you.